there was a very old man and his son and one day they were sitting on a bench in their courtyard and suddenly a sparrow lands on a fence across them the father who was very old asked his son what is that the son replied it is a sparrow after some time the father who is old and his memory was fading asked his son again what is that to which his son replied a sparrow and he went back to reading his newspaper a while later the father asked his son again what is that the son was beginning to get annoyed he said father i just told you it's a sparrow then the sparrow flew to the ground in front of them after some time again the father asked his son what is that the son got irritated it's a sparrow and finally again when his father asked him he flew into a rage and started shouting how many times have i told you it is a sparrow and seeing him getting angry the father quietly went back to his room he went to his room opened some old books diaries read it silently and he went that night the son felt bad for shouting at his dad and he just went there and casually took that old diary which his father read and in that all his childhood events were written by his father so he read this particular incident when he was just 3 years old his father had written today my youngest son who is turning 3 in a few days was sitting with me at the courtyard when a sparrow landed in front of us my son asked me 21 times what it was and i answered all 21 times that it was a sparrow i hugged and kissed him on kissed him on his forehead every single time he asked the same question again and again i didn't feel mad about it but only felt love and affection for my innocent little boy what was wrong with this son probably what was wrong was he forgot he forgot all that his father had done for him when he was a little boy we can just suppose imagine suppose you forget all the sacrifices your parents did in your childhood days to bring you up suppose you forgot the moment you got your first job suppose you forget the love of your mother the list can go on but one thing is very clear if we forget it is very sad dear brothers and sisters the christian memory is the salt of life the christian memory is always an encounter with jesus christ we cannot be forgetful christians forgetful christians lose the flavor flavor of christian life and end up being people who just obey the commandments without spirituality all of us in our life we have moments moments when i got to know jesus moments when jesus changed my life moments when the lord visited me at a difficult time moments when i received the lord's forgiveness in the confessional we have all these moments in our hearts it's always good to recollect and remember these moments when god has been present in our life today as we heard the readings which clearly spoke about the eucharist the body and blood of jesus during the last supper jesus gave up his body and his blood and said to us do this in memory of me 
do this in memory of me in memory of jesus to remember how god saved us through his passion and resurrection the eucharist is the living memorial of god's love and in the eucharist we remember christ's sufferings we recall god's love for us and this gives us strength on our journey when jesus tells us do this in memory of me it's not a suggestion but it is a command of jesus to repeat his actions and words until he comes and this memory draws us closer to god today we can ask ourselves what is my relationship with the lord during the eucharistic celebration it is jesus who saved me it is jesus who comes to give me the strength to live in a in every eucharistic celebration it is jesus who is alive but we must not get used to it every time we come to the eucharistic celebration it must be as if it were our first communion in the eucharist we find god himself contained in this little piece of bread being simple and essential bread broken and shared the eucharist we receive allows us to see things as god does it inspires us to give ourselves to others we can say the eucharist is like an antidote an antidote to the mindset that says sorry it's not my problem or i have no time i can't help you it's none of my business every time we draw to the altar to receive the eucharist to receive the body and blood of christ we must truly renew our amen to the body of christ let us relive this beautiful memory as often as possible dear brothers and sisters today as we are celebrating this eucharistic celebration as we are experiencing this eucharist let us adore and thank the lord for this greatest of gifts the gift of the living memorial of his love that makes us one body <laughs>